back and welcome back to Thames FC. We are top of the league and we've won every game. It's something I would love to be able to say, but it's not true. Not even close to true. Not one since last episode. Hi, welcome back. It's me, Dr. Benji FM. And after last episode, after that winning against Bournemouth, it's been a tricky time getting used to the Premier League. Uh, goal difference is minus five. I haven't had a minus goal difference for ages, so this is this is unfamiliar for me. Ben Hur with two man of the match performances um, and is still here, but injured for today's first game coming up against Manchester United. But let's take a look then. Since we last met, we're also out of the Carabao Cup, so that's gone well. But a defeat to Sunderland, 3-1 defeat in that one uh, they were very very good for the first time in a long time Sunderland gave me a complete run around in previous seasons we've done all right against them uh four no one of mk dons so it's nice to get a bit of confidence in it set us up nicely for a 5-1 battering by arsenal that felt like i was in the premier league uh, we got a red card after 42 minutes and they absolutely beat me up uh they didn't score again after 15 minutes it was a bit strange considering we had 10 men we set up a bit more defensively and they just couldn't break it down um 3-3 against west brom you might think that's a good result ben casper got a late equalizer no we bottled it. They scored in the 89th minute. Ellis Gore with the late goal and uh, Ben Hur missed a penalty. So a game we probably and could have potentially won against West Brom. A 1-1 against Everton, which is pretty good. Ben Hur with a really nice finish. Left footed into the bottom corner. Uh, they did come back though and get their goal. And then finally, a 1-0 defeat to Leeds in the Carabao Cup, which I don't know if I'm embarrassed or not really. Leeds aren't dreadful. They're a championship team. But um, yeah, Alan Helanovic is their, is their manager, which I think for football manager, players of, of a long time, that's quite humorous. Um, he was a wonder kid for, for ages. So we're out of the cup already before it even begins, really. Uh, but Manchester United and Derby to play today. Then two games at the Den. Uh, obviously, we're, we're still in Millwall because we're getting work done to our stadium. Should be done uh, next episode. We should be able to see our new stadium. So that's exciting. You can see Derby down in th 13th, though. Uh, Manchester United top of the table. Haven't lost yet. Won every single game. So let's get into this and run you through the team. So looking at the, today's team, uh, Reid will be in goal for this one. Ike will be back in it right back despite the, the sending off. He's had a three-game suspension. Returns today. Uh, Amra back now plays as a cover defender. We're trying to help. We're trying to find a blend between him and Patterson, how we can get the best out of them, make them as solid as possible. Uh, Pierre continues on that left hand side. Velasco comes in as a deep line playmaker alongside the ball winner of Casper. We've had this as a box to box. You've seen it with Pat Street over the years. We're changing it now slightly to get Velasco involved. I just think when you look at Velasco, you look at his his, his attributes, you can see he's a very good player. You want to get the best out of him. Uh, so we're going we're to see if we can do. Also on the right hand side, is there's still an injury to Matthew Hutchinson. Uh, he picked this up a while ago. He's now out for two to four weeks with a groin strain. Hope for you back next episode with our new stadium. Uh, Williams is going to play in behind Summer and Rowney on the left-hand side. And Williams is an interesting case now. Uh, of course, he played as a shadow striker uh, at his previous clubs in Belgium. The question is, can we get the best out of him in that position? Well, I'm going to try and find out. So far, one goal. Uh, decent performances when he's played. Had a little injury as well at one point, so he missed a couple of matches. But he's back in there. And Summer up front today because of the injury to Ben Hur could be, could be de very deadly. We're going to change him up, make him a poacher uh, for today's episode against Man United. We just need him in that final third to be lethal. Uh, we're going on a standard flexible approach. We've, we've taken a few things off. We're not playing quite so uh, quite so high with our defensive line. A lot of Premier League strikers, I'm finding, are very, very quick. You can't risk this. Uh, right, anyway, after talking all through that in quite a succinct manner, let's get into the game against United. Okay, then, at home. this I mean, we should sell out, which is good. Uh, financially, by the way, minus four million. We're making loads of money. It's absolutely ridiculous how much you get for being uh, in TV revenue. Last year, 3.4 million. It's September the 29th. We've made 29.3 million just from TV revenue. Um, as soon as we're back in the black again, things will pick up for us. The board have gone 15% of transfer revenue. You're not having any more, um, which is fine, but it, hopefully this will all change by the time it comes around again. Okay then, into it we go. Submit the team. This could... You'll see what I mean about the quality of Premier League sides. United, I, I suspect, are going to be very good. Here they are then. This is the Manchester United team of, of the years we're in now. Uh, they've got A. Arnold, Anthony Arnold, English, 20, 22 years of age. We never got him on loan uh, when we potentially should have done. And a put up front. That's not him. Uh, <laughs> we'll try again. Uh, a put up front. Sergio Apud, Uruguayan. Um, yep. <sighs> Yep, it puts it into perspective, right? We think Ben Hur is amazing, and he is, don't get me wrong. Um, oh, I can't hold it off anymore. There's some news about Ben Hur. So I'm trying to avoid this. I can't really avoid this. Um, ben Hur is, is going to leave on a free transfer. He's pretty much said as much. Um, he's still wanted by lots of teams. He's now saying he's leaving on a free transfer. You can see it there on the 30th of June, in which his contract ends. And um, unless something miraculous happens, it'll be gone on a free at the end of the year. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, viewers. I don't know what to tell you. I don't want it to be that way, but 
I don't. I, I almost feel like letting him go on a free after having him for another year is better than selling him for four point four million, which is just not enough, is it? Anyway, team talk wise, let's tell them I've got faith in them. It's going to need some sort of godlike power to get anything from this. Right then, we're in the blue, they're in the red, of course, and um, five points from five games, like a point a game this season, that is the initial target. If we get 38 points, it might just keep us up. As five minutes in here, it's, uh, it's a corner to United as McLean brings it into the area. A put score, it's offside. Well, they can have as many offside goals as they like. I quite like the fact he's called a pud. It, it just, it's very northern. They're, they're a little bit tired, which probably won't matter today. Right, chance for us, maybe. Ike's got it. Plays it into Velasco. Finds Williams. Finds Sommer. Chance. Oh, it could have been a goal. Rowney's there. Pulls it back across towards Alterdal. Casper on the edge. Loses out. But a decent chance for us. An, an opportunity. It's a free kick to United, though. 20 minutes on the clock and headed in. Andre Luiz with it from the Callum McLean cross. And United take a 1 only 20 minutes gone. It's not quite like it was against Arsenal. Arsenal were just running at me and having shots all the time. Uh, whereas this, we could maybe do a bit better. The header was quite easy, wasn't it? Michael Oliver still refereeing at the age of 69. Um, good for him. As his corner's played in. 25 minutes gone. United looking to make it two. As the ball's put to the same man, heads it over the bar this time. There is a, there's a temptation to set up on the counter-attack or defensively. Or, or attacking, because that's what we've been known for. But... I don't, it's, I'm still trying to figure things out. We're, we're quietly in the season. We're still trying to really figure out how good we are comparatively to the other teams. Are we underperforming? Are we overperforming? I'm still not entirely sure. As we've got the ball here. Alton on this right side finds Velasco to Casper. And some nice possession from us. Williams plays it towards Sommer, who's got in there. Wow, great ball over the top for him from Williams. And Sommer puts it home. Sommer, Sommer, Sommer time. I've, that's just come to me. <laughs> I don't know. He might become very pivotal of Ben Hurley's, but some lovely work from us. Keep it really nicely. Lovely little dink over the top. Missed header. And a poacher's finish from Sommer. Sommer, Sommer, Sommer time. Oh, I like that. I shouldn't like it as much as I do, but I do like it. Back on level terms. And um, it's almost like United have gone, well... No, we're not. We're not doing that. As um, they they bring it forward here, chance. They hit the post. Offside goal. Post. They're going for bingo here. As we get to half time, we're we're holding them. It's one one. A uh, little defensive error at the back, but I mean, this is going rather well. Arsenal four 0 up. They've scored about twenty five goals in six matches. Uh, Pasch that you say. Oh, I can't say we've been the better team, can I? I'm going to go for the calm approach. I'm just going to say. I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up because that's true. I am happy. I'm calm. Keep going. <laughs> I'm happy and I'm calm. Keep going. Oh, I sound just like Ellie. Sorry, that's... Sorry, no. She doesn't watch these. It's fine. Right, bit of possession for us at the back. Amma back plays it all the way back to Reed. And now these sort of situations are important. We go towards Alterdale, which I'm always in favour of. But he misses out on the header. And now Pud racing forward. Plays in McLean. They're, they're not wasteful, Premier League sides. Great save from Sam Reed, But he's popped it home. They're, like, what I'm finding in the Championship, right? You'd get away with that. Because they just shoot from 25 yards. When you play a team of real quality they've just got another pass on and they always seem to play it like there a put would just shoot but he plays, plays it to McLean who then finds the picture perfect pass great save that save from Sam Reed was great it's a shame it fell straight back to him oh, that was a bit unfortunate I think 2-1 down though Velasco's having a pretty indifferent game Rowney's not playing brilliantly of course we can bring on Jimenez or Skeets there as well to bring on um, if we need to and with about 20 minutes to go I think we're going to make a switch Okay, we're going to get rid of the playmaking talents of Velasco, who's struggled today, to be honest, and bring on the box-to-box -box midfielder in Jimenez. Of course, we got him from Real Madrid. That's the one that we got from Real Madrid. Velasco from Getafe, for those that are wondering. As the ball goes in, Reed comes and claims it. 20 minutes to go. I guess we'll stay as we are. I want to go attacking, but I don't want them to score a third quite yet. <laughs> like, I know that if I go attacking, they'll definitely get a third. Right, well, the substitution has happened, and um, this is the first highlight after that. You can see there, Jimenez on the ball, finds Casper. Him and Jimenez have got to try and combine nicely in that centre, keep it locked down as best as possible. Someone who tries to win the header gets it back to his feet now, and that pass forward is lacking any quality. And now this is where I I don't like playing against the better sides because there's they very very rarely not only are they they make great decisions because of that they very rarely make errors as in give it away balls played in and I'm back as well to win the header and actually win, win a second header Rowley won a header there he's about five foot nothing so I don't know he's done that Tafarel on this side oh dear heart scores is it Tafarel Taffer, it's like Raphael but Tafarel yeah it makes sense like the old Brazilian goalkeeper Rowley wins the header they win it back though three one. 
Now, this is the like, really awkward scenario because I kind of want to go for it, but this could become 5 1, 6 1 really quickly. Um, Heart of the Black Post scores, and we look disappointed in the stands, which is a shame. But it is a sellout, so we've made quite a little bit from that. We'll make another switch. Williams is, uh, is on a booking, so we'll get him off. Conlon's going to come on. He's, he's the victim of this season, really. He was great last year, um, but hasn't really featured this season at all. And with a few more seconds, we're going to get Skeet on as well. Try and keep it fresh in the middle. We're going to give these players some game time as well to keep them happy. But, um, I mean, this isn't that bad. I don't think. This could have gone a lot worse. 3-1 is not a disaster. 6-0 is a disaster. Derby coming up. Could happen there, couldn't it? So stay tuned. Are we going to find a goal here in the final seconds of the game? Pierre, yeah, it's got to be a good delivery. It's it's not. Right then, Derby coming up on the 13th. Uh, no, that's where, that's what position they are. I can't do dates and, and times and positions. It's the 6th. It's the Saturday. It's October. Sorry, everyone. Don't, don't look at me. I'm embarrassed. Grogan's going on to, off, on to Barry. Barry! Barrow! Oh, this is not a good episode. Barry! Barry's got him out. He's hired him. He's just doing some desk, desk jobs that Barry doesn't really fancy. So, good luck, Aaron. Enjoy that. Oh, Barry. What a, what a slave driver he is, I tell you. Right then, Derby coming up. And don't be, don't be twisted. Don't get it twisted, viewers. Don't think that just because it's Derby, they're not a good Premier League side. They're like as if they're a new side. Uh, you can see here, Premier Division. They've been in since 21-22 and stayed in there the entire time. Uh, and in the last sort of few years, they've not finished outside the top 10. 9th, 7th, 7th, 9th, 8th, 5th. So they're even getting better. 24 games won last year in the Premier League is not bad at all. 77 points is awfully good. So do be aware that they're a, they're a decent side. If you're a Derby fan, you'll enjoy this. You've got some, some amazing players in your team. Uh, the chat from America that we talked about last season at one point Carlos Moreno is the star of them all but um, yeah this is not going to be easy but let's, let's do our best and Ben Hur is back now as much as Ben Hur is back Alta Dalpit's been injury a tight thigh uh, so I don't think I want to risk him but the problem is Hutchinson's already injured so what do you do? One of our options is to play Sommer out on this right hand side as an inside forward so I think for one game only we're going to try that I'm also going to make Casper and Velasco more defensive I'm just sort of trying things here then you've sort of got this back six now, being slightly more deeper set. And then you've got Rowney, Williams and Sommer uh, supporting Ben Hur up top. Let's see how we do. Derby. Now, with Ben Hur, our record is significantly better than without him, as you would probably imagine. Which means next season is going to be great fun. Or torturous. So we'll see. One or the other. There's Derby then playing the 4-3-1-2 uh, the, the system. I'm a fan. Alfonso Azevedo. I, li I like that name. 33-year-old Portuguese international. Okay, we're in the blue there in the white. Uh, morale in camp isn't great at the moment for Thames. So they've been losing or not winning recently and they're not used to that so they're feeling a little bit down in the dumps what i'm getting at is if you can try and turn that around today that would be preferred we're a lot fitter than they are look you can see it's never mattered why do i always bring it up right, balls launched forward from reed um and we don't win the knockdown and this is where we could be in a spot of bother now stylistically the way they play the more players they commit the more space there should be in theory and behind especially with these wider players now if you can withstand this attack um yes right we're going to go to the counter attack i think that might be the ticket today if their fullbacks can push on and press on then we could get some space in behind and make the most of it as ben Hur finds williams who's going to have to have a really good game today if we're going to get anything from it goes out to icar on that side gets it back after a clearance ball played inside to sommer puts it into the center there's ben Hur williams oh how has he not scored I thought that was going to be a great goal, but no. Ben Hur looking motivated. Of course, he's going to be wanted by lots of clubs in January. So look, look forward to that, Benny boy. There's Rowney on this left-hand side, causing problems. Ball played in. No problems. Williams is there. Ben Hur didn't quite get there. Sommer clears. Amabak gets in front, and Williams comes a little bit deeper to collect this. Finds Ben Hur from the distance. From the distance. Not from distance. From the distance. <laughs> centre of the centre of the pitch, just outside the area now. The distance. I'll probably be signing him in an upcoming episode. As the ball's played forward, doesn't quite get to where it wants to go. And Casper wins it back greatly. We've got loads of options. Williams got a chance. He's got he's had two clear cutters for me there. Oh, we need the points on the board and he's not done it. I actually think we're playing pretty well. That's what's disappointing so far. Is we've got a corner. Velasco to play it out to Casper. Shot maybe from Casper. No, he finds Rowney. Rowney with a chance and Rowney scores the goal. Thames one, Derby nil. This would be look, this would be a scalp. I'm saying now this would be a really good win to get if we can get it. A well worked corner eventually. Velasco plays it out to Casper, whose composure on the ball is pivotal. Finds the pass into Rowney. Great chest control and a smart finish on that left foot makes it 1-0 Thames come on boys okay they are looking tight the second half that might be a factor okay at half time then 1-0 to the good looking good and I'm going to passionately say boys you've played well still room for improvement and they're furious why would you be furious I'll calmly say there's a lot more to come from you I believe you've got what it takes don't be furious they look switched off out there brilliant news everyone we need to be at this come on I'm going to do a shout and I'm going to say 
encourage. There you go. Don't don't be complacent or anything. Let's get it. Win today with Burnley on eight points from twelve matches, and that's kind of where we need to be. There's going to be a point this year when we don't win a game for eight games or something. That that will probably happen as a newly promoted side. We've just got to be prepared for it. As uh, as Ben Hur on the edge of the box finds Velasco, a little bit of space out wide. If Rowney can get a ball across the middle, oh, penalty! He's been brought down as Rowney Hunsman, Hunsman's maybe who who's it's a penalty. Ben Hur to take it. He's missed one this season. We might remember, but he has scored one as well. Ben Hur oh slots it in the bottom corner and Thames take a two 0 lead. Fifty minutes gone. Sixth goal of the season for Ben Hur. He's starting as he means to go on. And Thames are looking very good. As I say, against a capable Derby side who actually, right now, are 17th. Rubbish. More highlights for us. So far, so good. It's a lovely ball into Rowney there from Ike. And now Rowney on that left-hand side, running into the space. If he can get a delivery in, it might be dangerous. Ben Hur flicks it on. Summer's there to poke home. And, well, is Summer going to be the inside forward? That is going to be his new role. Summer, Summer, Summertime. That's what we're talking about. Lovely stuff. You can see here from Rowney. I sound so sort of posh when I say Summer, Summer, Summertime. Not how Will Smith sang it, by the way, just to be clear. As Rowney puts it in, flicked on by Ben Hur. Great, great awareness from Ben Hur. And Summer pokes it in. 3 nil. Oh, boys, you lot, good luck. We'll be doing more of this. Battered. I can't, can't get over the Arsenal game. As they go, oh, I mean, corner. Casper, we've done it once. Summer again. Chance. Williams. Oh, he just, he's had three now. God's sake. Three clear cut chances. About 20 minutes left to go. And there's a temptation to make some changes. But everyone's playing well. I don't really want to change it. I mean, we might get another one here. Summer is back on the ball. Plays it across to Rowney, who's caused them so many problems in this game so far. Ball played in. Ben Hur's there. Keeper claims, though. Penalty kick! For what? We don't know why. Ben Hur shoved. He's got a chance to score another one here. As Ben Hur steps up and the same place again. 4 0. Ben Hur's seventh of the season. And I think we're probably going to win this game. I should be more confident really ben Hur slots it though back in the team back in the goals excellent all right 15 minutes to go williams has had a bit of an indifferent game i don't really want to take him off though uh casper who's played really well is going to come off just to freshen things up in the middle but um yeah i, I, I still want him to stay out there and maybe get a chance at scoring Liverpool beating Tottenham 5-1 elsewhere. And they've been, Liverpool in this save, I should say, have been really underwhelming in the Premier League. Barely do like a top four finish, but this season doing much better. Yes, there we are then, switching up to the counter-attack. Just seem to do the business. I don't know whether they had any impacts at all. I'm not too sure. I guess we can look at it uh, in more detail. But there we are then, Thames 4, Derby 0. I set that up where that was going to be really difficult, but it wasn't at all. All the work Derby have done over the last 10 years just obliterated in one performance. And that's going to bring us to the end of today's episode then. If you've enjoyed it, remember to drop that like button and or drop the like button press it it's been i've not got everything right today it's fair to say uh, but if you enjoyed it as i say do leave a like if you want to see some more subscribe to the channel and i'll see you tomorrow 5 p.m for more up the thames that's one like come on and a huge thank you to those supporting over on patreon patrick chris josh uh, another chris as well erling thank you for your recent support and everyone else i'm much appreciated thank you everyone